I was always the test. Is like, can we do a sweet, life-affirming, relationship-driven sitcom where literally millions of people are brutally slaughtered in every single episode? Kind of just in the background. <laughs> in, the background. Like, yeah, you know, in the background. In the background. It's not like recognizable faces. That no, you know. no, no, you're no. not getting attached to anyone. <laughs> yeah. um. it, is a, it is a show that the goal is to try to come up with a vision of heaven that is consistent with life on planet Earth. Steve Buscemi plays God, and he is the founder and CEO of Heaven Inc., which is the giant overburdened company in the sky that runs and maintains planet Earth. And uh, the whole company has fallen into disrepair, and uh, he decides he's not going to throw good money after bad, and figures out the best thing to do is just to blow the planet up and then pursue his, his other lifelong dream, which is to open up a restaurant. It's that weird thing of, you know, I think we have all watched him for like so much of our lives doing and just having this incredible varied career and then just to also meet that person and find out that they're just like a lovely normal human being is just, it gives you so much faith in um, actors. And weirdly he still got a little bit nervous in the first episode which I liked seeing yeah. because oh, yeah. it made me feel when we were doing God's intro, that whole thing, that day he was a little bit like, oh, acting. And I was like, this is good. I like seeing this because it, it yeah, never gets like, you that. never feel like it's just going to be like super easy or something. Now, Karen and uh, Daniel, what was the biggest draw to join the series? Um, I was unemployed. <laughs> 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 and TV pays really well. Um, I was lucky enough to be a part of it. Yeah, I wanted it very badly. <laughs> I mean, it pretty much is that exam. Like, I just, yeah. you know, I. Sometimes you, you find material that you're just like, I just want to be involved in making this. Like, I, I, there's, there's um, yeah, it was a very, very simple decision. Now, speaking of when you guys were younger, Karin, you actually said you thought you were going to be cast as Harry Potter. Oh my God, how did um, you? I guess I've been telling I think you told that story a few times. <laughs> well, it's so crazy. What did you learn? <laughs> what <laughs> What's something new you learned about the wizarding world from working with, uh, I guess, Daniel? Oh, um, God, don't. <laughs> it's a teeth thing. Is it what? Oh, yeah, the teeth Can thing. I yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Is that, I, you can tell me if it's wrong from no. what I remember, but when they were doing their earlier movies, because their teeth were falling out, they would have a cast uh, made of all their teeth so that if one fell out, they could have a prop to yeah. put in For so they could keep filming. That's awesome. Yeah, you've, got like a, you've got a set full of yeah. 20, 10-year-olds. So yeah. they just like, For they like cast like everyone's mouths. For like eight months a year, yeah. you were filming these movies, and it's like people were just, yeah. Oh, we have as many as we want. That's, that, doesn't seem very, that doesn't seem very sporting yeah. if we get as many as we want. But I'm gonna take you up. Yeah, just take you. I feel like Simon's gonna get it. Oh wait, I got a technique, Hannah. You do? Oh. Oh my god. Yes! You said it. Nice one. Said it. Okay, I'm going home. That's it. That's my sound. Yeah, put me on the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Do it.